Hello guys, here is Nivesh Panchal and I am welcoming to all of you on our YouTube channel SAP Business One Tutorial. So currently we are learning how to make a simple and small SAP Business One add-on. In the last video, we have seen how to fill the combo box from a UDT or a user defined table as well as system tables. So in current session, we are going to learn about choose from list. So let's start. For choose from list, we need to take a one edit text box. And I have just simple dragged and drop this. And then we need to take a data source. This is the data source. We need to take a choose from list. So here it is. We are going to select one object. This object will give the options from which we are select one record in this text so let's take an one object it is item master so the name is given CFL OITM this table name extension item master object type is 4 so I have take it 4 here now select the text box you can see the specific there are three things choose from list alias choose from list autofill choose from list user ID so UID unique ID it's CFN OITM which is declared here now you can say this the button in text box is here if I deselect this the button is disappear and this come so this we have linked the text box with the choose from UID now we are going to give the alias name so this is the name it, it's what showing that which field we are going to select here from this object so we are going to select an item code from the OITM and to display that we have to drag true okay now in which object or in which user object we want to fill this we want to fill this thing so I have made my one object as I already told that we have already uploaded how to make a user defined object so for that you have to take you have to see that video currently I am taking directly so I have declared already I have defined my object QTST and now this is my object and in this object field in this field I want to fill this field so whatever I will select here and click the add button the selection and the record of this will be inserted into the this field and this field is belongs to this object okay now let's start take a restart so I have just log in this my database and let's run rerun the project you can see a new menu is added here so this this is the previous things as I already told and this is a new one the combo box and the choose from list so item master as I select the object type 4 so you can select any of record and 
whatever the field we have selected here as I already told you it's running I am not able to see you so whatever field I have selected in Elia's name whatever field we have selected in Elia's name this field will be filled in this so here is the demonstration of choose from list as well as combo box so what is the difference between this two in generally combo box is used when the multiple option is given and we have to select a single record but the multiples records have some limits like 10 15 14 or whatever but the choose from list is used when the major records are there and we have to select only a single record from those so choose from list will provide a find option here so we can find anything from this okay the other different between choose from list as well as combo box in the, is that we can select any record from user defined table as well as system data table in combo box when we have to create a simple uh, or a small object to fill that object in choose from list so this general general requirement for choose from list is we have to create a one object so this both are different in that purpose okay now what is the things we have to take care to work with the choose from list are let me see you we have to remember after as uh, as I already sh show you that it is a very easy or simple method that just drag and drop edit text box drag and drop choose from this data source and just specify these things in this text box but we have to take a data source of object in which we feel this field so I have take dqtst this in which field I want to fill item code dqtt objects I code fill and then you also have to take same object type in that form so here it is and also you have to make a visible true to run this data source or CFA if I just make a false visibility here and run again run let's check what happened you can see the selection is already given sometime this selection will disappear here so these are the things we have to take care of okay thank you for watching please subscribe our channel and also like video if you like thank you